Welcome back to the channel everybody. So we've got something a little bit different for you here today. We're gonna to do a what's in the bag and yardages for me. So we're gonna start off with, I haven't got a full set of clubs here. <laughs> so bear with me, you might laugh. First one, we've got a, what I think is a 60 degree sand wedge. It's a Wilson Staff. Uh, it's quite old, I've had this for quite a long time. Very rarely used. No, that's not right, is it? <laughs> Those numbers have never been seen on a 60 degree wedge. <laughs> Especially when it's pretty much like a 64 degree wedge. Right. That's better. Oh, bit of backspin on that as well. Next is 50 degree wedge. It's a Cobra King Pure. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this club. Uh, in Portugal, hit some worldies. In Scotland, hit some chunks and some fats. So, very much love-hate. Um, There's almost no middle ground with it. You're either absolutely top class or it, a donkey. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah. I just, sometimes I just stand over it and I think, oh my God, this is gonna cut through this grass like butter. <laughs> and sometimes it does. So, you know, it's not great. Is that the best 50 degree wedge I've ever hit? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, so that's my wedges. So I should really have another wedge. Yeah, um, you need a sand, don't you? But you I need, don't. You need a sand wedge. Yeah, I could do with a- 54, 56. 54, 56, something like that to bridge the gap. But the fact that I'm not confident with the wedges is why I don't. So I feel like if I don't hit my 50 well, that's why I don't have another wedge. Yeah, because coming on to your next club, your pitching wedge, Yes. This was really, when I first started playing with you, you used this from about 100, 110 in for everything, didn't you? Yeah, so when I first started playing golf, well, not when I first started, but for the majority of my playing golf, I've just had a basic set of clubs. Just gone round and used what I've had. Uh, in terms of wedges, I didn't have any. So as Luke said, I basically hit a pitching wedge everywhere. Yeah. So if I was short-sided, so I'm here, there's a bunker here, pins there, I would use a pitching wedge. If I'm 50 yards away, I'd hit a you know, 40% pitching wedge. Yeah. It would always be pitching wedge. So I've actually, you know, I've grown and I've got wedges now, which is a lot better, but this is still my go-to club. Yeah. If I've got 85 yards in, chances are I'm gonna hit a soft one of these. So I'll come a bit closer with these ones. So I've just recently been fitted with these. Uh, shout out to Humza at American Golf Wakefield. These are Cobra King Forge Tech Xs. Uh, these, I got pitching wedge to five iron. I uh, got fit for these in November. Uh, had a few rounds with them in Portugal, which you'll have seen. Um, and I do love them. Still got to get some use to them. Uh, I'm gonna have some lessons um, just to kind of get used to the lofts. Lofts are a lot stronger than what I used to play with. They are juiced. Yeah. Let me tell you, they are oh. juiced. I've just hit a 178 iron. Yeah, which even <laughs> I don't hit. I mean, so I definitely need some lessons with them. Um, so yeah, I've got pitching wedge to, to five iron with these. Let's see, <laughs> this is where it gets interesting because this is probably gonna go the same distance. Yeah, long irons. I'd say after seven, you've just never really been that confident with them, so. No. Be yes. interesting, this. It's very rare I'll pick up a six or a five on course. So here, here we go then. So it's a six iron. They're very rarely spotted. Although I've pured that, but right. That was a good hit though. <laughs> there we go. 177 yards with my six iron. 191 total. Never we seen. Fence has never seen that with a six iron. It's, ne it's never been that on the course, has it? It's, um, the, the, the worrying thing is, my driver probably will be getting around the same numbers, <laughs> which is mad. But we'll see when we get to it. I'll be surprised if my driver tops 210, but it's been. We'll see, I guess. All right, five iron. Nah. 
Bad shot. Nah, I've chunked that. That's gone way right. It's just not going well, is this one, is it? Yeah, as fat as that. So that just shows that's how hard it is for me to hit these clubs, you know. My seven iron's flying pretty, pretty well, six iron flew well, five iron didn't. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty common though with a lot of people. They just yeah, hate the longer irons, don't they? As soon as you look down on a club, you know, you see a flat face, you think, how on earth am I going to hit that? Yeah. And I, I feel that every time. Uh, said to you a million times, how on earth do you hit a two iron? Yeah. It baffles me. But um, I can't hit my hybrid for love no money and you... And I love mine. Yeah. Exactly. It's just, it's what suits you as a as a golfer really you know if i have to hit it i'll give it a go but it's something that needs lessons yeah basically could have gone pitching wedge to four um but instead of going four um i've got another club which you will have seen a lot on this channel because it's my favorite club <laughs> definitely my go-to club so this is a cobra king ltd x4 hybrid now it's actually a three slash four hybrid um, you can adjust it. Um, it's got a uh, stiff shaft in there uh, and I have it on the three hybrid setting. So this is, yeah, my go-to club. If I've got any kind of distance on a par five, you know, long par four, I can know I can trust this club 90% of the time. Yeah. Um, obviously some of my shots are terrible, um, but I have faith in this when I stand over this. Oh. That was striped. Yeah, might be a bit right, but. So that's something I do struggle with. You know, you've seen it a million times, the the right shot, but you know, if I ever got that right and I'm hitting a hybrid 210 total. Winning. I'm gonna be a very happy man. Uh, newest club in the bag is my three wood. So it's a Aerojet Max. I uh, got this just before we went to Portugal, so it's not been hit a lot. I've uh, got it on standard loft setting, so 15 and a half degrees. Um, and again, I'm just trying to get used to this. This has got a regular shaft in. Um, in terms of shafts, it, I don't think I'm good enough to be worrying about shafts at the moment. If when I have my lessons, I get told I need different shafts, we'll go with different shafts. But yeah. I've never noticed the difference, if I'm totally honest, from shaft to shaft. No. You, you know, unless you're using like seniors or, or women, uh, female shafts, like with the, a proper whippy. Yeah, exactly. I can't, you know, it's not going to give me, if I put a, re a stiff shaft in that three wood, I'm not going to be getting 10, 15 yards on top of it. No. There's no chance. So I've basically bought that stock. Yeah. I bought that as a X demo from American Golf again. Uh, and it's, it came pretty much brand new. That sounded pretty good, to be fair. So it's gone a bit left. Again, it's just, you know, it's gone the same distance as what the hybrid's gone. It's probably technique on my part. Yeah. It needs lessons, you know. If I can get that going to 220, then I'd be happy. Thing is, um, I found when I was hitting my longer clubs and the distances were similar, people were sort of saying, well, why have you got them? But I think the thing to, that people have look is trajectory. Like if you've got a load of fairway in front of you, you're gonna hit a club that goes less high because it's going to roll more so like yeah. that three wood whilst it's probably similar to your hybrid it's not going to go as high no so it's probably going to roll further yeah and if i've got you know if i've got nothing to contend with bunkers in the middle of the fairway or yeah water to go over yeah this is probably the club to go for and i can yeah, yeah, yeah. it can be more punched um i'd love to get really confident with it i hit one absolute stinger in portugal with it oh can he mate that is even better What a shot. Yeah, drilled that, Anna. Absolutely drilled it. Absolutely drilled. Yeah, um, I remember. And, you know, if I can get to that, that'd be great. But at the moment, if it's, a, if it's in the bag and I can just use it and practice with it, then great. It's got to be there, hasn't it? So, uh, on to the driver. Second to last club um, is my driver. Now, this is the first club I actually spent decent money on. Uh, bought this 2021-ish and it's a Cobra King speed zone. I have this set at standard 10 and a half degrees. I have had it set at draw bias 
for a while, but I've taken that off. <laughs> never seen a draw. Um, it's one. never seen a draw. That's the thing. Even if I will draw bias, it still doesn't draw. So you know, it doesn't stop my slice. Um, I love the look of it. Um, it's probably coming to the end of its days now, if I'm honest. It's you know, it's three years old. I don't get a lot of distance with it. That's probably a lot down to technique and things, but I will probably invest in a new. Got eyes uh, on a new one, a new driver soon, which will likely be Cobra because obviously it fits in with the rest of the set. Um, but I'm open to ideas yeah. as to what I go with, really. Let me know in the comments what you recommend. Yeah, if you if anybody that's around my handicap, which is a sore subject at the moment, <laughs> uh, or around my you know ability swing speed, which you'll see soon, let us know what you think could work best for me in terms of driver. Yeah, uh, and I'll try. <laughs> There's the 60 degree driver. You gotta remember, Fence has got two in the bag. He's got his lob wedge driver and he's got his normal driver. <laughs> and there's your lob wedge driver. That's a very See? much lob wedge driver. 113 yards. <laughs> that sounded better. Yeah. So there you go. 196 yards carry. Now, let's be honest, that's not great. It's Rolled out to 235 because there's hardly any spin on it. Um, on a course, I'd be okay with that. And then finally, we've got the putter. Uh, so, this is a Callaway TT1 Blue. Uh, got this off one of my good friends, Andy, probably about, I don't know, 15 years ago now. Quite yeah. a long time. So, it's a really nice putter. Uh, it used to be really good back in the day. Um, it's a blade. I've never tried anything else. Might be worth having a go with, you know, something different. See what a mallet does for me. See what another blade does, because this is old. Um, I always think you're, put, you're putting it in pretty solid though, to be fair. That's it. I don't think it's never been something that's warranted a change. No. A desperate change, really. Um, you know, I can have off days and stuff, but in the hole, I don't feel like I lose distance. So I don't feel like I need a mallet. You know, I don't feel like I lose precision or anything like that. It's it's all down to technique and anything, and I'm not silly enough to think if I go spend five hundred pounds on a Scotty Cameron, I'm suddenly going to be sinking thirty yard putts. <laughs> it just ain't going to happen. So this, I think this will stay in the bag, along with the the hybrid. This is probably the one that's going to stay in the bag the longest. Yeah, and the irons. Uh, and the irons, obviously, because I've just it's watched out. Whacked nearly a, gra a grand on a set of irons. <laughs> so, um, but the irons were needed. I had the ones I had before were what. 13 years old, something yeah. like that. So it was time, if I'm gonna play more seriously, it was time to get some. So that's my what's in the bag, and that is my yardages of all my clubs. Um, as you can see, I'm not the longest hitter. I don't portray to be the longest hitter. I'm not even the most accurate hitter, but that is a genuine showing of what I've got in my bag and what I hit my clubs. You know, I'm not here to portray that I'm hitting a drive 300 yards. Um, so. Yeah, a couple of comments on the last video about my handicap. Now I am an officially a 12.3 handicap. Now that's based on, I haven't played golf for four months. Um, I take a big break over winter, pretty much don't play at all. Uh, and then I come and play and I'm obviously gonna be rusty. Now I've heard some people say I do it to inflate my ego, you know, that it looks better if I've got 12.3. I've just posted a round where I've scored 99. You see me give up on a hole. There's no ego here. And Quinta de Lagos to come, mate. Quinta de Lagos to come, yeah, which you may, may have seen by this time, but you know, there are times when I get really frustrated on the course and it all gets filmed and it all gets shown to you. There's no, you know, there's no sugarcoating anything with no. what we do on a course. Um, I went through a period in summer last year where I played really good golf for two, three months, and that's where my handicap's based on. It will take me six months again to get a handicap that's similar to what I should be now. So it doesn't help me, um, but honestly, I can't tell you how honest we are yeah. when we film these videos. All the course logs, anything that we do is just pure honesty and hopefully it's relatable to everybody at home. Yeah, I mean, like for people that think, do we re-hit shots? Do we post good rounds? Do we lie about handicaps? Honestly, everything that you see is totally honest. I mean, we'll show you our handicaps on the phones. People say you can manipulate iGolf, but like we're playing a society together, there would be no benefit to manipulating our handicaps lower than they are. Yeah. Because we're not going to win anything with false handicaps, so. Exactly, and when we play, you know, uh, you know, we go out with friends, we go with Woody, we go with Lou, you know, we go on a weekend away, we use our handicaps. You know, me having a lower handicap doesn't benefit me whatsoever. 
you know, I'd be paying for these society days and I'd be winning nothing yep. because of my low handicap. So yeah, it doesn't suit. And what you've also got to remember is it genuinely is harder playing golf with a camera on you. Yeah, It's not as fluent um, and everything like that, as much as it's been, it was great to have Dan in Portugal, but it's not as fluent as if we'd have just gone around and played around round of golf. Yeah, because part of your mind's always on the filming aspect of it rather than totally golf. So. Yeah, but you'll always get honesty from us. You'll always get proper golf. Uh, and if I hit a duff drive 20 yards, you're going to see it. If I hit a drive 250, you're going to see it. You know, that's how it is. We ain't going to see that. No, you're not going to see a 250. <laughs> Big shout out to Back Nine Golf in Guy's Le Leeds. Uh, they have kindly let us use their uh, simulator room. I'll give you a clue why we're not playing golf today. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Leave a like, a comment, and please subscribe. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Fence out.